Mm -hmm. But what these guys have done is even worse than what Sanders is doing, as you will see. They have actually constructed a building on the, at the end of the road that blocks all access to the beach. You can't get to the beach. To get to the beach, you have to go in the sea and come around. Mm -hmm. Literally, you have, you have to walk in the sea, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a thin end of the wedge. I know it's a, a short beach. It's only 400 yards long. But all beaches have to be accessible to the public. You can't privatize the beach. And if we allow this to happen, it poses a threat to all beaches in Barbados. So it's, it's imperative that we take a stand. Uh, otherwise, we'll lose the beaches because it sets a, a dangerous precedent um, for the loss of, of, of public access to the beaches in Barbados, right? Uh, but there are two different beaches involved. So what these people have done now at, at Ocean 2, they've built, as you will see when you go down there, a building on the beach, on the road that leads to the beach. Um, clearly, I presume they've got Tongue and Country planning permission, unless they've done it unilaterally. But I don't see them doing it unilaterally. And the question is, how can Tongue and Country give permission for the building of, of a building on a road that act, the only access to the beach is now blocked? Yeah. Um, even if they own the land, which I presume they do, there is a public right of way over that. Yes, and you can't block a public right of way. Um, I understand in Mexico, um, there, the amount of hotels on certain parts of, of, of the beaches there are such that you have to travel, the public, if they want to access a beach, they have to travel 20 miles to get a public access to the beach. So in effect, the beaches in Mexico are uh, like Alcapulco or whatever the place is called, are privatized because any non-resident of a hotel trying to get to the beach has to travel 20 miles to go around and then come back another 20 miles to travel 40 miles to a beach that's right there. Mm -hmm. And this is beginning to happen in Barbados. We've got Hyatt coming up there and if they can see that Ocean 2 can do it, they'll do it. Sandals will do it, all the, the, the hotels on the west coast will do it and beaches in Barbados are synonymous with a, a park. They're like a park. Barbados doesn't have many public parks. We have Queen's Park and we have a couple others. But this is where Barbadians go to exercise and relax. And uh, they're, they're all parks. And if you're locked out from our parks, that affects our health, physically and mentally. So it's imperative that, that we take a stand.